Hi, welcome to GTEC. Let us talk about the theory of evolution. You can see here how the evolution is take place from this stage to this stage. And now we are going to see about the theory of evolution. Evolution as a theory it suggests that the great variety of plant and animal life on earth it is developed gradually through a natural processes. You can see the variety of plant and animal life as early as the 16th century the great English biologist Charles Darwin you can see here in the air 1809 to 1882 he gave the theory prominence the most important of Darwin's works is on the region of species you can see here by means of natural selection it is first published in in the year of 1859 the Darwin's examination of geological formations, collection of fuels, you can see the collection of fuels over here and the study of plants and animals from the year of 1931 to 1936 and his doubts challenged the traditional theory of a creationism held for centuries in the western world. The theory of evolution has two stages. The first one is the science of genetics. It has helped to explain the variation in each species and how this variation are passed on. The second stage is the evidence gathered from fossil reminds in recent years that supports Darwin's ideas. You can see the evolution here. And now let us talk about the physical evolution of humans. Evolution traces human development through several stages from the first human like beings to modern humans. You can see the evolution traces although we will still do not know exactly when the evolution of humans and the apes diverged or who our human ancestor? And now we are going to see about the hominids. The hominids are distinguished from apes most notably by their pipedalism that is their ability to walk on two feet and by their larger brain size. You can see human family tree and all hominids are members of the human family tree and now we are going to see about the Australopithecines. Australopithecus anamensis in the year of 1995 a male leaky she is represented here at the National Museums of Kenya discovered some of the oldest representatives of widely studied human genus the Astrolopithecines. Mae Leakey and her team located pieces of pipetal hominid that is 4.1 million years old which she named Astrolopithecus anamensis. You can see the pipetal hominid and scientists suggest that the species may have given rise to Astrolopithecus afarensis. You can see the Astrolopithecus afarensis over here. And now we are going to see about Astrolopithecus afarensis 
In the year of 1974 at Hadar in Ethiopia, Donald Johansson and his team unearthed a set of fossilized bones of a female hominid that are approximately 3.18 billion years of old. They nicknamed their discovery as Lucy. You can see Lucy is the first human. These fossilized bones led to the identification in the year of 1978. as the Astrolophithecus afarensis a species that may have survived almost unchanged for 9 lakhs of years in lucy species johansson believed that he had found the earliest common ancestor of all later hominids here you can see astrolophithecus afarensis Let us talk about Australopithecus africanus. You can see Australopithecus africanus. The another branch of the Australopithecus family is the Australopithecus africanus, which believed in the southern part of Africa approximately 2.523 million years of age. There are two Africanus offlines the first one is Australopithecus robustus and second one is Australopithecus boise and now we are going to see about the stone age the stone age the descendants of the Australopithecus finds lived in the period it is called the stone age we call the period this because the most of the artifacts found from this time are made of stone humans who believed in the stone age are generally classified into a group or genus called homo that is man you can see here And now we are going to see even more about the stone age. Most experts divide the stone age into three stages. The first one is paleolithic that is called old stone age. The period is 2 billion BCE to 10000 BCE. And the second one is mesolithic that is middle stone age. and this period is 10000 bce to 8000 bce and the third stage is neolithic it is called a new stone age the time period of it is 8000 bce to 5000 bce you can see the three stages of stone age here And now we are going to see about Homo habilis. Homo habilis. Historians believe Homo habilis are handyman. They flourished in Africa about 2.5 million years of ago. You can see handyman over here. Homo habilis were the first hominids to develop and use stone tools. to prove of their ingenuity and creativity ability the brain size and presence of human like teeth from fossil finds that suggest that homo habilis might have been our human ancestors you can see the homo habilis brains that is represented in green color Many scientists believe that habilis bridges the evolutionary gap between Australopithecus and Homo. You can see here. And now let us see about Homo erectus. Homo erectus first appeared about 
two million years of ago, you can see Homo erectus, which is depicted over here. That species name refers to the fact that they could walk completely upright, like modern humans. You can see modern humans here. Only a few dozen skulls of this species have been found, notably in Africa, Java, and China. You can see the dozen skulls here. The first specimens were found in Java in 1891 and 1892. That is called Java Man. They are about 7 lakhs of years old. Here you can see the first specimen. It is found in Java. The Homo erectus was the first species to use fire and the first to migrate into Europe and Asia from Africa. You can see the first species to use fire over here.